Hey guys, I'm recording this Friday after school. Uh, I've been having some trouble with my mic only recording to one channel. It's only going either to the left or right. Um, don't really have time to fix that, so I apologize if this is a little difficult to hear. Um, what I need you guys to do is uh, spend the period today just sort of familiarizing yourself with what the requirements for second quarter are going to be. So what I've done is I've put a whole bunch of information into Classroom. Um, so if we look at Classroom here, um, remember mine's going to look a little different than yours, um, but it'll be close enough uh, for you to understand. I would not use the stream. I think it'll be a little bit faster if you guys click on Classwork because all of your quarter two assignments are in this one section right up here, and yours should look almost exactly like this. Uh, where they look different is if you click on these, um, stuff will look a little bit different for you guys. Um, what you're going to need to do is click on view assignment for each of them. For each of these, there's an assignment sheet, there's a rubric, there's some extra stuff for the research ones we'll talk more about later in the week. Um, but what I need you guys to do today is look through all of the assignment sheets, look at the rubrics. Um, you have copies for each of those. Again, click view assignment to see those. You can take whatever notes you want on them, but I'd really like for you to look through these. Um, and we'll jot down any questions you have. We'll go through these a little bit more later, um, but I need you guys to start thinking about this. What I've done, so we have six things that you're working on this quarter. You're going to be doing a written piece about an inspirational photographer. You're going to be doing some research about a photographic concept. Um, you're going to be doing three photo projects. Uh, the first is going to be a photographic series where you pick a subject and photograph it multiple different photos that go with that theme. Uh, you're going to be doing a storytelling. Uh, this one is one that you may end up dreading, but I really need you to think about this one sooner rather than later. You are required to create your own music for this. Um, the portfolio is pretty much straightforward. Um, you're going to be taking pictures that are going to show me um, that you've learned stuff in photo one and two. Uh, and then your website, which we're going to be working with Pixel and Hammer on, is your final exam. Um, there's some written parts to that, so you can look through um, all of those. I've put some quarter two resources here, and I'll be adding to these. So right now, um, you should have on there, uh, there will actually be a fifth thing on there when you see this on Monday, which it'll be the video um, that you're watching right now. Uh, but you have a create account for Slack. I need you to click on that link and actually follow that. Set up an account. It'll get you logged in. We'll talk more about Slack later. Um, and then I have three links here to the Photo2 websites from last year. These are actually three of the best that I've ever had. They're pretty much the pinnacle of exactly what I want. Um, again, I'll be updating resources in there as we keep going. So all of your information's there. Um, Again, just to sort of give you a, a quick overview, um, your your information's here um, that you can look through. So um, all of your assignments you'll see, uh, their due dates are actually Thursday, or I'm sorry, yeah, Thursday, January 17th at 7.29 in the morning. That's Thursday and Friday, the last two days of the semester. Uh, we're going to actually go through it and look at each of your websites, and I'm going to grade you as we're doing sort of like a class critique um, of them at the very end. So that's why they all have that. Some of them say 730. I'll change those to 729. But you need to have them done for that Friday. That includes having all the information published on your website and having all of these grade sheets and rubrics um, filled out, turned in. With your final exam, you're actually going to have a, a written reflection you need to do that you need to attach to this before you turn it in. Um, so again, we'll talk more about that, and I'll be on you guys about trying to keep that organized. Uh, one of the programs that, or, or the program that we're going to use, this is meant to actually give you a uh, connection to not only me and each other, but also with uh, Emily and uh, Levi, who I, I think Levi is going to be helping us from Pixel and Hammer. Um, this will actually be, this is a way of actually messaging them directly. Um, if you, not if you want to, but you need to make sure that you have Slack running. Uh, an easy way to sort of have Slack at your beck and call is also install it on your phone. 
log into it. Um, it's weird when you do it. It looks like you're trying to create a brand new web page or a brand new account, but you're not just follow the online stuff. Um, but you can actually put that on your phone. Uh, and then it will actually message, if I message you or you message me, it rings on my phone right away. Um, we'll go over more of this, but just sort of general stuff. Again, mine looks a little different than you. Um, there's channels that we can talk about general things. We can talk about the projects themselves, um, any reminders, your website link so I know where you are. And then as we add people here, you can actually click on somebody else in the class and direct message them. So basically, this is kind of like social media for the classroom without us having to give each other phone numbers. Um, but it also, it'll give you the ability to, to directly connect with Emily, even if she's not here. Um, so we'll talk more about Slack. Make sure that's set up later in the week. Um, so basically, again, after you read through, um, these are the three websites that I was telling you about. So if we just sort of look through... Um, what the expectations are here. This is your capstone project. This is your final exam. You're going to do all of this work and then you're going to organize it in a website. We're going to use Wix for this, so you're not going to have to learn HTML coding. Um, Wix is pretty easy to use. It's free. Um, you, the idea is you can actually maintain these um, and update them. Uh, if it's something you want to do on the side, you can change them around. Um, so this is uh, Sarah's website, and you can see she has some stuff uh, laid out here that we'll talk more about. Um, so she has her gallery, which is her um, portfolio. She has her series links down here, uh, her storytelling link there. Um, an artist statement, which we'll talk a little bit more about, but that art, artist statement needs to appear somewhere in your website. Um, you, she has her portfolio, so you can go through um, and look at things. Her gallery, again, is the full portfolio. You can see how she laid that out, um, her series and how she worked on that, and her storytelling, um, what she did for the video. We did have some trouble with videos last year, so some of the videos are fine. Some of them aren't. Um, she has her writing separated out. We'll talk about ways of doing that. Um, so you can look at, at like what she did for inspirational photographer research essay. Um, there's a ton of information you guys need to look through. Please make sure you're looking through them. Um, but one of the things as you're looking at these, you'll see this is Kelsey Carrick. She can see it's a totally different view, um, a different way of doing things. But she does have all of her stuff there as well. So her three major projects there. Um, she has her... Um, writing sort of hidden a little bit so that it's not on top on the front page um, you know so her inspirational photographer is there her research is there um, and then Isabella Pittman's um, again you can see Isabella laid hers out a little bit different all three have totally different styles but they're very um, well done websites so you can see she has um, stuff very stylized um, and you can look through her website there again gallery you can see um, her storytelling um, and I think her storytelling actually might be a video that runs no she ended up doing yeah she has it down here and this was just a backup in case it didn't work um, so you guys can look through that uh, my expectation is that you're thinking about this there's not anything necessarily to do for homework um, just yet but you are gonna have to start thinking about this and be making decisions uh, Emily is going to talk to you about some stuff on Thursday that you're going to have to start making decisions pretty darn quick. Um, so, uh, you know, when you're reading through these, what I would suggest you guys think about doing, um, either do inspirational or research, and then one or two of the photo projects um, so that you have a balance of stuff to do in class and stuff to do out of class. Remember, you're managing your time. I've given you all the information you need. We'll make sure by the end of this quarter that you sort of have an idea of what is expected, and then you're on your own. Um, I'll be here as a facilitator. I can help you with anything. Emily can help you with that. Um, also, when you look on assignment sheets, there are experts listed. Um, so like for storytelling, if you're scared about writing your own music or doing stuff, there's GarageBand. We can work with Mr. Noble. He has some students that may be able to create music for you. Um, so with that being said, if you will go ahead and read through this stuff, please do not blow this off because it is a ton of information. 
See you tomorrow.